right, welcome back on Good Morning Artesia. And Joby Hodling is here from the Pecos Valley Bass Bench. <laughs> What's the matter with me? Pecos Valley Bass Masters. Yep. And uh, I didn't know if you noticed that Saturday at the softball game, I was falling asleep behind you. I did not notice. <laughs> didn't, didn't even know. You were behind me, so I never did uh, look back at you much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was... Uh, I was a little uh, getting a little tired there. Not that you weren't exciting to listen to. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you did not get to go fishing. But uh, the fishing tournament did take place. Fishing tournament did take place. Uh, we had two tournaments at Possum Kingdom Lake and uh, fished in conjunction with the uh, New Mexico Bass Nation and and um, and we had five boaters and five non-boaters in our club tournament. Uh, there were several like me that were not, were unable to go, so because I, I kind of had anticipated um, closer to ten of each, you know, t ten boats, but uh, ended up being five boats, five boaters, five non-boaters. We had two new club members that did not fish in the club; they fished in New Mexico Bass Nation, and I, and the the fault there, I think, is squarely on my shoulders. I had somehow left them off of my mm. Pecos Valley Bassmaster contact list. I got them onto our roster with BASS some three or four weeks ago. I, and I tried to remember back. I, I, I thought, you know, I think probably what happened was, because I haven't met these gentlemen, but they wanted to join a club so that they could fish New Mexico Bass Nation. And I got a call from the new current president three or four weeks ago or so saying, hey, there's a couple of guys down in your area that are interested in joining your club. Can you reach out and tell them how to join? And so I did. They did join. Uh, they, they, I sent them their invoice via PayPal. They paid it immediately, so I jumped on BASS, I added them to our roster, and then I probably had a phone call or I needed to go somewhere. You know, my, my days just kind of run together. And I never put their information on my contact list. So, therefore, as we got into getting close to tournament stuff, I sent out all the information to my contact list <laughs> and they, <laughs> they weren't, weren't on, on it, it. yeah and but I they were there they were there they did fish so we actually had six uh we actually had six of our members uh boaters and six non-boaters that fished at possum kingdom five of which fished our uh, 10 i'm sorry five and five mm -hmm. fished our uh, tournament so you i don't know if that is that up on the board yet it is up on the board all now. right so there's day one um and so you can see their weights and everything up above the the top level is just is is uh, not in order of victory. The second level there, the tournament results, and uh, Byron Heiser. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I can't hardly see it. But Byron Heiser ended up Sorry. winning um, the tournament with only five. We just paid one place, but um, but you can see there, and he had, uh, and I can't see the weight. What was it? Seventeen. Seventeen point one. Yeah, and that's that is day one. So he mm -hmm. finished in the top ten in New Mexico Bass Nation as well on day on the first tournament. So congratulations to Byron. He got the um, big bass, too. And he got the big bass on day one. So he okay. cleaned up on day one. And then there's some pictures, I think. Or there may be the second result. So Let's uh, see. The second result. No, that's yeah. still the same thing. That's 4-2. No, yeah, but it is. The, it's the uh, non-boaters. Oh, okay. And Jeff Heath, who gotcha. is a new member this year, he won the non-boater. Okay. Um, and with the with uh, and, and the non-boaters in the uh, New Mexico Bass Nation, of course, fishing in conjunction. We fished by their uh, specifications. They only can catch three keepers so he had a, a bag three fish and uh, he ended up winning both big bass mm -hmm. and uh win our tournament so congratulations to jeff heath okay and then uh, now some pictures that's uh, uh byron heiser that was his five fish he caught a bag that day and and you can see there's some great fish um a five fish limit byron and his wife fish together amber and she caught some fish and uh, ended up being in the top 20, I think, both days with New Mexico Bass Nation. That was his big bass on day one, uh, Byron Heiser. That's a big bass. That was a good one. Yep. And, uh, uh, and then I don't know why my pictures are small on there, but that's, Je that's Jeff Heath with a couple of his fish, maybe all three of them. I think he, ha he is holding all three of them. He won non-boater day one. Okay. And then that's... Uh, Chris True, he was the boater uh, with Jeff. They're both new members this year. And uh, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so that was his five fish uh, limit for day one. Okay. And he finished second in our day one tournament on the boater side. That's Amber Heiser. That is uh, in her 
fish she caught or two of them. I don't think she's holding three. I think she did catch three as a non-boater on day one, but she's holding two. Good fish there for Amber. And again, she finished in the top 20. And then that's Jeremy. Uh, I guess maybe those pictures has something to do with how I posted them, maybe, because you're having to adjust the size. Yeah. Jeremy Fuentes, uh, uh, and he had three fish out of his. He could have caught five, but he ended up catching three keepers. So that's Jeremy mm -hmm. on day one. And that is Catherine Martinez. And one, she had, I think she caught two fish. She was a non-boater fishing with Mike Hill. Um, and that was her big bass, I think, is what she, we got a picture of there. Okay. Nice fish. And the next one, I believe, is Mike. And it is Mike Hill and his big bass. He had, uh, he was the boater. Uh, him and Catherine fished together. And I think he had two fish. He could have caught five. I think he had two keepers, but that was his big bass. And I think there's one more picture from day two. And that is Lex Klein, and Lex had a keeper on day one, and um, uh, he was the boater, and his wife fished. So we had three couples mm -hmm. uh, fish together, Mike and Catherine, Amber and Byron, and Lex and Susan, his wife. Okay. So that was pretty cool that we had uh, couples so, fishing together. All right, so that takes us back to that. So now what I need to do is go to the Sunday results right. page. Right, Sunday results page, and there you go. Bring that up, and... <clears throat> screen okay so let's go to sunday so sunday and i believe that's the non-boaters it looks like jeff heath uh ended up winning again so <laughs> congratulations to jeff on the non-boater side he caught another limit three fish and uh had a nice uh a big bass i think it was 5.6 he won mm -hmm. big bass and won the tournament so again jeff uh, won both days and both days big bass and then uh our next screen should be the uh, boaters Yep. Which it is. And so it Byron is. did the same thing. <laughs> he uh, won both days and Big Bass, just like Jeff did. So congratulations to Byron Heiser as, and to Jeff uh, Heath as they were our winners of our tournament. Um, and you can, and people that are watching online can see those uh, those weights and everything. But it, um, what's interesting about the weight, it was a half. Is it, is, are these ounce, ounces? Yeah, so, so it was uh, actually pounds. So pounds. So or tenths of a pound. Tenth of a pound. So, yeah, so half pound difference. Byron had a 15.6. Yes. Chris True, who came in second, 15.1. Right. So, so that's they how were very close, close. They were, yeah. And uh, Byron actually finished second on day two for New Mexico Bass Nation with that 15.6. And he also was one-tenth of a pound out of winning Big Bass for oh, New wow. Mexico Bass Nation. He had a, what was his Big Bass there? 6.8. Yeah, 6.8. There was a, uh, if I looked right, I looked at their results, and I think I saw 6.9, uh, <laughs> one Big Bass. But uh, Byron did win. And you're right. So Chris had a great day, too. He had a great day one. They both, both he and Byron were on fish, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, because both them and their non-boaters, which was Amber for Byron and, and Jeff, uh, Heath for Chris, both caught fish and uh, weighed in, and were in, and um, and of course Jeff won the non-boater side. Um, the the rest of our anglers didn't really find them. They they caught a few, but didn't really find them. Uh, so now the pictures. So now the pictures. This is Byron on his second day, and he's holding all five fish. He's got three in one hand and two in the other. And you can see his big bass right there in the front, uh -huh. which was a almost a seven pounder. Great great bass. And that is his uh, big bass for day two. So a good, uh, good picture there, and uh, big, big, good bass. Anytime you catch six to you know seven pounder is a good one. Okay. I might have to go back. Yeah, and this is uh, Jeff Heath who won day two, and that was a good, big bass you see there. He had along with his other two keepers, mm -hmm. and he was our day two winner. Okay. And then that is uh, Chris True, and he had another limit, and as you said. Uh, was only half a pound back from Byron, so a good race there at the top of our uh, leaderboard. Okay, you ready for another yep, pick? Yep. There's, there we go. And that's Amber Heiser. She caught a limit on day two, three fish, and had a nice big bass. You can see there in her right hand, um, so, and she finished second in our tournament. And I think she, again, she finished in the top 20. I don't know if she was inside the top 10 on day two or not, but in New Mexico Bass Nation. Okay. But definitely in good spot for her. And then that's uh, Jeremy Fuentes again. He had another three fish on day two and, and some good good fish there. And I think he finished 12th or 13th even with just the three fish uh, as a boater in New Mexico Bass Nation on day two. So some good fish there for Jeremy. I think that might be our last picture on day two. Yep. Yep. That's because it takes us back to the, uh, to the results. So that's the final um, 
the final. It was a good tournament, I think. They, uh, they, my, I talked to my dad who fished, and and he said the weather was really good. Um, it did rain, I think Thursday night, and that may have pushed, made some difference in how the fish were reacting. Um, but those that found them had good weights. Those that didn't, you know, didn't catch as many or any. And I, and as I looked at the New Mexico Bass Nation weigh-in um, results, there was a pretty good handful of people that didn't catch keepers. You know, and so uh, so if you found if you were on fish, then you caught you caught them. But if you d weren't on them, I mean that makes sense, obviously. But it wasn't like they were biting everywhere, is what I'm trying to say. And sometimes they do. Sometimes everybody catches fish, no matter what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think that maybe that rainstorm, maybe a little bit of the front came through, and it maybe changed it up. I know talking to anglers that had been pre-fishing, their fish were on beds, um, but when they went f Saturday, uh, they couldn't. They weren't there. So I think the rain maybe pushed them off their beds. Um, in any case, uh, from everything I understand, the tournament went well. It was a little helter-skelter, and I appreciate uh, very much Lex Klein because he, he uh, <clears throat> I was thinking that all four of our other boats were all fishing the, uh, the New Mexico Bass Nation. It turns out that, that uh, and another probably screw up on my part, although i got to talk to, to uh, New Mexico Bass Nation about this, but Jeff and Chris had never received anything from New Mexico Bass Nation. They, they should have because they were on our roster. They ended up not fishing it, so Lex graciously, <laughs> and he'll probably say, well, I had to because nobody else was here because what happened, what happened is all the New Mexico Bass Nation people put in, including our three that fished it, put it in one place, one cove, and then Lex was staying somewhere else but had access to boat ramp, and it turns out Jeff and Chris put in with him, and then Lex weighed the, those four anglers in, him and his wife and, and Jeff and Chris. So it was a little discombobulated from our normal stuff because normally either I would be there or David and Lisa Rutherford. David is our new tournament director this year, and they were going. They had already got a room and everything, but then they had to cancel. Mm. They had a, a family health issue or, or, you know, something happened where they couldn't go. Right. And so I really appreciate Lex for taking all the of our weigh-in equipment and then weighing in he and his wife and and uh, and Jeff and Chris because uh, it was a little discombobulated. I mean, they, uh, I wasn't there. Normally, I'll kind of keep everything together, but they did it. They did fine, but yeah. they just had to. Um, yeah. So that's that's the results for this weekend. That's how it went, and we're looking forward to the end of this month. We have a tournament here at Brantley, and originally scheduled was just one day, just Saturday, but I've had uh, one of our members suggested, and I, th I think it's probably a pretty good suggestion. Maybe we go ahead and have two one-day tournaments just like we're doing everywhere else. My original thoughts on that was Brantley, um, you know, if the water's low, because we've got four one-day tournaments scheduled throughout from now through, I think, July at Brantley, April, May, Mar uh, April, May, June, and July, one day. And uh, my original thoughts when we wrote the schedule was that uh, if the fish aren't there, if the water's really low, probably nobody would go back on day two because if there no nobody catches a fish, and sometimes it happens. Yeah. But we may go ahead and change that, so I'm going to be talking to our membership and see if they want to have at least this first one and see how it goes. If there's fish, if we're, if we're catching fish and people will go back for day two, we may have that. But we do have our next tournament April 30th right now. It's a Saturday mm -hmm. um, scheduled for this month. Excellent. And if you want more, if you want to see the pictures and everything you can go to the uh, facebook page for now the facebook page i'm going to get the results and uh and update our an angler of the year our year results on our website pvbm.club and i'll also get pictures put there on our website but today yeah if you want to see those things go to facebook pecos valley bass masters page on uh, facebook excellent excellent well and i got one more thing i want to say sure because i was listening to you earlier Uh oh i read somebody posted uh somewhere on social media and, it, and they made it look factual. Whether it is or not, I don't know, But um, because it's on the Internet. Uh, you were talking about earlier the sales for marijuana and yeah. how it, the gross receipts tax compared to because the left has said, oh, this is going to replace. Uh, well, with those sales that happened this weekend, day one, day two, day two, uh, day three, extrapolated out, it's about 100, it's over 100, around $120 million in gross receipts tax annually right. based on those big sales. Um Last year, uh, oil and gas.